All right, guys. Hey, I'm back with some more EU3. Um, for this episode, I'm just going to give a little rundown of what I'm going to have to do is burn infamy. Because I'm way up there and it's hurting my relations. It's hurting my... Come on. Come on. Accept. Damn it. It's hurting my relations and it's preventing me from going to war. So I'm going to have to burn down my infamy. And as soon as I do that, I am going to war with Poland to steal either Lebelski or Plucky. Though more likely Lebelski because it's richer. Alright. So I'll be back when uh, either my infamy is lower or something interesting happens or we're at war or... Ah, you know the drill by now. I'll be back when something interesting happens. Alright, one thing I wanted to bring to you guys' attention is my current um, diplomat is Oscar Van Louden, and I'm going to try with my 93% uh, cultural tradition. Let me see if I can commission painting first. Alright, so almost 100% cultural tradition. I'm going to try to buy or purchase another diplomat. And he is level 5, so he's far superior. Unfortunately, I don't think you can. not You can't have two of the same type. So I'm going to have to exchange this guy for this guy, Christoph Minucci. Or Minucci. Or Minucci I, or something. Anyway, it, it should help us considerably with our uh, infamy problem. So yeah, I just thought maybe you guys would be interested in that. I'm getting this guy who's pretty good to help solve that problem. So hopefully that pans out for us pretty well. Alright, this doesn't particularly pertain to me, but it's kind of interesting. Great Khan, we will see. Which means that one of these nations around in this area, in the general this area, has a new absolutely fantastic leader. So we could see a resurgence of the Mongol Empire, we could not. It's an interesting event that I've never really had any um, experience with. Now one thing while I'm here, I'd like to point out, someone told me that you can't change government type. So... I'm not sure the validity of that. Someone said you can't change government type. I don't know if they meant in this mod or in general. Because in general, I know you can because I've done it in other games. In other uh, playthroughs. But um, as far as... Um, as far as not being able to do it in the mod, I don't know. Because I'm very... Uh, what am I, I have troops in foreign territory. Interesting. I'm not overly familiar with this mod. It's... Um, not really something I'm too accustomed to. But, um, maybe they're right, maybe they're wrong. We'll see it as it comes along. That rhymed. It wasn't supposed to. I feel like an idiot now. Just something kind of interesting, folks. Uh, France accepted peace with Navarra, and France will cede Paris. So, the uh, City of Lights is no longer a French city. There is, as far as I can tell, only one French French city left, and that is the city of Maine, um, or the city of Le Mans, but in the province of Maine. So we'll see what comes of that. I mean, it's kind of sad to see French gone, or the France gone, but you know what? I hate France. So, um, good, I guess. Honestly, good. Uh, now, what um, dynasty are they? Blois and province in the same dynasty. All right, so they're of the Blois dynasty. I was just curious. All right. So I'll get back to you guys when something interesting happens because it's been kind of quiet for, for a while now and not much has really happened. Just uh, general nothingness. That's okay. I like a break every now and then to reduce infamy and whatnot. It's uh, not always a bad thing to not be a constant conqueror. Uh, okay, it's working. That was weird. Anyway... I'm sorry for that haphazard uh, coming back. It, the rec my recording software was being a little, little bit weird. Um, hold on. Anyway, um, I noticed that I have a few options here uh, for things that I can do. One is introduce introduce air, which gives you plus two cultural tradition, tradition plus one percent prestige, and plus one percent legitimacy. I could do that, but honestly, I don't think it would do very much good because I already have full prestige and full legitimacy, so I'm not too worried about that. But one thing I did notice is that supporting the Florentine school would 
for 10 years uh, helped me reduce infamy by quite a bit. Uh, it's a bit expensive. It's a bit expensive. I just burped. I'm sorry about that. It's a bit expensive, but not for someone who has as deep coffers as I do, or as deep pockets as I do. So I'm going to support the Florentine School. Because of our relative nobility, notability, we are in a position to support the Italian artists in the Florentine School. Being perceived as patrons of international art will definitely help our propaganda efforts. I love how we're not even shameful about it at all. Propaganda efforts. And uh, that's really what I wanted to show. That was the main thing. I was just uh, looking through here, ways to raise the cultural tradition, maybe for free. I noticed that, so I thought that would be a good thing to do. Now our infamy should go down quite a bit faster. Uh, not quite a bit faster, but, you know, faster. So I just thought that was uh, worth mentioning. It wasn't too important, but I thought it was worth mentioning. Okay, this wasn't expected. A throne inherited. My king, your charm has certainly done wonders for our nation. Thanks to you, we have inherited the throne of Urbino. Charm and beauty are sometimes as effective as cannons. Um, that's really odd. Uh, they have a huge revolt risk, which is a bad thing. But I think I can just send some troops down there and pacify them. That's, wow, that's, what the heck? Uh, that's, fuck you, Milan. All right, um, how about you guys? Ask for military access, very likely. So... I didn't get a core on it, which sucks, which means the revolt risk is going to be terrible for a while. But, um, I did, um, damn it. I hate when that happens. I have to butter them up now. But it is another, uh, province added to the Empire. Uh, a province that would be well, relatively wealthy if it wasn't uh, completely ruined by revolt risk and whatnot, uh, making it not wealthy. But let's see if I can get national military access. Maybe no, Mardina. God, give me your, give me your military access. I could boat them over one by one, <laughs> but I don't want to. I don't even have a, a cog to do that with. I couldn't boat them over, so I'm just gonna have to uh, buy their love. By the by, Modina's love, so that they will give me access to this place. To hopefully, I'm going to support the or help with the fort defense because I don't want to uh, face a rebellion. In which case, it would fall quickly. I want it to last as long as possible. But that really took me by surprise. Um, <laughs> I mean, I know I have a bunch of people that I. Uh, I'm really married to. I've got a bunch of. Uh, see, why can't like I inherit England or France or something or Kiev? Well, not even Kiev. You know, something like that. Why can't I inherit one of those guys? I mean, I do have Denmark. Denmark's pretty cool. Denmark is pretty cool, but yeah, secular humanism, blah blah blah. Um, I'd rather uh, you know get someone kind of big. Whatever. Um. But yeah, this is really cool. This is a step forward, I guess. It's not a big, it's not a big um, accomplishment, but it's only one province. But it's a, like I said, a relatively rich province that will only get richer over time, which I think is a very, very good thing. Uh, the revolt risk has already not gone down any, which is bad. But let's see. Come on. Thank you, Modina. All right, now. I just need it from either the Papal States. Alright, cool. So you guys go all the way down here to deal with that. This is really cool, folks. I'm liking this uh, idea of... What the heck? Support, whatever. I don't... I sent manpower to help instead of money or anything. I don't care about the Crusades. That, um... That event has popped up a billion times. I'm just sick of it. I'm not even bothering with it anymore. But, um... Let me see. This will reduce the revolt risk by a little bit. Or it should. The... Active troop presence should change it at the end of the month. Let me see. Let's see. Yeah, down to 9.0. So that off also busted... Not busted... Boosted the income up by a little bit. But, um, yeah, this is a cool place, cool acquisition. So, um, yeah. 
That, that's pretty cool. I'll get back to you guys when something interesting happens. You know what I just realized? How long this Let's Play is going to be. It is going to be astronomically long. Because uh, what am I on now? Part 20-something? And I think it's 20-something. I don't keep track. But I'm on, I'm on part 20-something. Oh, whatever. I'm on part 20-something. And I'm only in 1426. So this is going to take a very, very long time to finish this. Unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, not unfortunately in the sense that, like, I don't enjoy it or whatever, but it's going to take a while. And stuff that takes a while is occasionally, uh, no me gusta. I mean, I don't mind it, but it's just going to take a while. Just going to take a while. One thing I, I'd like to point out before I go, because I'm going to end the video here. I was just um, wanting to point this out. Actually, France does have two cities. I'm not sure how they got that. Anyway. Uh, my, I think my biggest threat to Imperial Integrity right now, and by impi Imperial Integrity I mean the entire HRE, not just uh, the Austrian Empire, but the Holy Roman Empire, is probably Nevers, because they already own one, two, three Imperial Provinces, and they are the kind of rising power in France, is what I see. Now, England, England's a lot scarier, but I think England has less, um... Less of an intention on the continent. They're more interested in their own affairs. But anyway, folks, I just decided that I was going to end it here because uh, it's a good kind of a good stopping point. I've got some plans for the next video when I'm going to do next time I play. So I'll leave it off till then. I'm going to just leave you guys on a cliffhanger. Don't know what I'm going to do. Is it going to be Poland? Is it going to be Nevers? Or could it be something else entirely? So as always, folks, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching, folks.